OK, so this question was quite similar to one that we've just done in class. And it's about parallel vectors. This is one that every single year people find this confusing. So I want to record this again. I want to show you this again to make sure that we really understand what's happening. So it's got a particle that's being acted on by two forces. And the forces, I prefer them in column notation, are 3 minus 2. And the second force is A to A. So the first part says, find the angle between F2 and I. So I'm going to start off by drawing the origin, where I'm going to pretend that I'm drawing the points from. And I'm going to draw what F2 is. Now, F2 is A to the right, because it's A here. And it's 2A up. So I'll draw that in a black line here. This is F2. And it wants it to find us between that and the angle I. I is a unit vector in the I direction, which is in the X direction. So it's just something that's going in this direction like this. So we're trying to find the angle between those two things. Really what that is, is just a triangle where we have 2A, A and theta. It's a right angle triangle. So we can say that tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent, which is just 2. So theta is the inverse tan of 2. And whatever that comes out as on your calculator is your answer. What was that one, Ishraq? 63.4 degrees. OK. That bit nobody asked for help for, but hey, it made sense to just do that as a bit of a recap. Part B says the resultant of F1 and F2 is R. When we're doing vectors, how do we find a resultant? We add the forces. So whoops, the resultant is F1 plus F2. I'm going to find out what that is first. So the resultant is 3 minus 2 plus A 2A, which is just 3 plus A and then minus 2 plus 2A. But there's something really, really important, and it's this sentence here, which says R is parallel to 13, 10. What you might be tempted to do is say, oh, well, if it's parallel to 13, 10, I'm just going to make them equal to each other. I'm just going to say that it's equal to 13, 10. But it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that R is 13, 10. It says it is parallel to it. What do we know about vectors when they're parallel? Scale factor. If two vectors are parallel, they have been scaled up by a particular scale factor. Or we could say one of those vectors is a multiple of another one. Now, I'm going to just use the letter K here, and I'm going to break this down in words. This is the resultant force. The K means is parallel to. And then this bit is 13i plus 10j. It doesn't mean that it's equal to 13i, 10j. It means it is parallel to it. So when I actually go ahead and try and work this out, I'm going to just multiply. So I get 3 plus a minus 2 plus 2a is equal to 13k, 10k. And then what do I do next? Red one? Simultaneous equations. From the i part, the top part, I get 3 plus a equals 13k. From the bottom part, I get minus 2 plus 2a equals 10k. And then you can either solve it like old school, or you can do it using a calculator method. I don't really mind what you end up doing. But if I do it the calculator method, why not? You'll get a minus 13k equals minus 3. 2a minus 10k equals 2. If I put this one and this one in the calculator, you end up that k is equal to a half and a is equal to 3.5, OK? So that tells me that the answer is a equals 3.5. Now, I'm just going to connect this back. You don't have to do this extra stage. If I've said that a is 3.5, I'm going to connect it all the way back to say, well, what is r equal to? Don't know why I went that way around and not that way around. Um, so r would be equal to 3 plus 3.5, which is 6.5, and minus 2 plus 2 times 3.5, which is? Five. So we've got 6.5 and 5. And my question is, is this parallel to 10, 3, 10, 13, uh, 13, 10? It's a shame I can't speak today. Is that parallel to that? Yeah, because yeah, they're multiples of each other. And what's the, the scale factor? Two or a half. Look, that's the scale factor, a half. 
So we did one of those questions at the end of the lesson. It's just a repeat of that one. In fact, you, you actually did do this question, but I'm very, very happy to repeat this because I think it's, it's an important skill. If there's one thing that you need to take from this, it is the resultant force is parallel to the thing. This is the thing that means is parallel to. If I had a pound for every time students would just say this was equal to this, I'd probably have about 15 pounds. <laughs> It's happened a good few times. <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to do some more stuff with mechanics today. We're actually going to step back from vectors for a bit, and then we're going to do some things with forces, and then we step back to vectors, and we keep going back and forth between them because they're really, really connected together, okay?